Hello and welcome my bald bearded friends. In today's video we have, a, we have a, uh, <clears throat> a little bit of a strange kind of fragrance. It's Kaleen Hum. I don't know if I pronounced it well but... And the camera does not really pick it up. Kaleen Hum. Intense Gold. And this is a little bit of a strange fragrance. It was uh, around... 13 euros, something like that, on, on uh, Amazon. I actually it was recommended uh, in a uh, review, so thank you, in a review on uh, another one of my videos uh, to try it. Uh, and I think it was recommended as being a cheap 1 million clone. But it's Embry Cinnamon y warm spicy kind of fragrance it has also a little bit of freshness in it a little bit of vanillic vibes and it is in a way such a generic scent of generic um, and um, reminiscence of all the popular um, young man's fragrances of this time like one million a zero wanted uh, Hugo Boss bottled that it's in a way smelling like a um, young man's flanker to any of those fragrances so it's it's a sweet spicy bumblegummy kind of fragrance really well suited for going out and um, you know younger younger folks but fruity also fruity but again it smells like a one million as zero wanted uh, a little bit Invictus even it it, it 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 smells like they combined all the popular young men's fragrances put it all in a barrel and uh, shipped it off as being intense gold. First of all, I bought this one thinking it was just a one million uh, clone, you know, intense gold, gold, uh, one million bottle. Uh, yeah. Even looking at the notes, uh, you know, the main accords being amber, cinnamony, warm, spicy, a little bit of freshness, uh, a little bit of fruitiness, but it's like, again, everything combined. I have the notes here right away. It says, in the opening, a mandarin, orange, apple and peppermint. Uh, you get, of course, again, the fruitiness. Uh, peppermint, well, it's a fresh fruitiness. So perhaps the peppermint supports the, the freshness of the apple. Main notes of cinnamon, nutmeg, lavender and rose. Uh, those notes you definitely get. It has a nice spiciness of the cin uh, cinnamon and nutmeg. You get the typical lavender, um, yeah, lavender vibe, almost a little bit like Champagotier uh, original Le Mans. But again, it's all those popular fragrances combined in this one. Um, so you get a little bit of the uh, Le Mans, um vibe in it. And then a little bit of rose, a little bit, uh, quite a lot of rose, which is also, uh, which I really like, but uh, is also reminiscent, I guess, of uh, one million. Um, and the base notes of tonka bean, amber, cedar, leather and musk. And especially the sweetness of the tonka bean comes, uh, uh, you know, in the, in, in, uh, comes to your nostrils. Um, and uh, the warm amberiness of the amber um, you get very much. A little bit of cedar, but not not too. Um, it's not too woody. But again, it's really reminiscent of every um, of every uh, popular fragrance of this time. Mm. It also has some, um, yeah, some bubblegummy kind of vibes again. The, the, it gets a little bit uh, like Invictus. 
so it's a very interesting fragrance. Um, yeah, what do I say about it? It smells like they could sell this, uh, you know, they could package it in a 1 million bottle and have a, a new flanger to the 1 million line or uh, put it in an Invictus bottle and a new flanger in the Invictus line or Hugo Boss and then in a in a new bottle and have it in the Hugo Boss line as a uh, party fragrance. Um, so the only reason this one goes for 10 euros, something like that, perhaps 15, I can't remember, is because it's not connected to a huge line. But I guess if they put it in a, uh, a nice bottle of 1 million, they could sell it for 80 euros upon, rela upon release and just make a lot of money of it. So I guess it's, it's truly a, uh, a gem if you like the, the party uh, going out kind of fragrances. So definitely check it out for this price you can't really miss. Um, last but not least, let's get to the longevity and the projection. Um, both are quite moderate. Longevity is around 6 hours, something like that. Uh, projection. Um, when you first spray it on, you get definitely get two feet, perhaps three, uh, depending on the amount of spray you do. You do. And um, after around one hour, two hours, you, you, it, it, it becomes more and more of a uh, uh, not really skin scent. I think it's uh, in a couple of hours, and you still get about a foot of projection for its. Uh, you know, it's a real spicy, warm, sweet fragrance. So you know, it has a lot of lot of push to it. Uh, but this definitely is a, uh, a real nice fragrance. And they could easily ask more, way more uh, money for it. So I guess uh, definitely check this one out. So again, thanks for recommending it, and uh, have a nice day. Ciao.